Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at the Gremlins card game, Holiday Havoc card game. It says Ready, Set, Slap on the back, so maybe it's a Slapjack variant. But I thought Gremlins kind of cool. I think it was pretty cheap off Amazon, so I grabbed it. It's three to five players, which I'm not a fan of whenever it's more than two, um, two players for a minimum requirement. I never liked that. But we're going to check it out, see how it looks, maybe go over the rules a little bit. Alright, let's open it up. There's a little bow right here. For that holiday effect. Ages 8 and up. And it looks like it's a top opener. Which I do like. Maybe. Nice box. Object. Race your, race your opponents to slap and collect matching gremlins. If you can collect the most gremlins, you win. With Gizmo's help, can you save Kingston Falls from the Green Menace this holiday season? All right. How to play. You shuffle all the cards together, or the Gremlin cards, divide them evenly among players. So you deal all the cards out. Do not look at the cards in your deck. How to play. Starting on first player, proceeding clockwise. Player flips one card from the top of their Gremlin deck face up on the location. Okay, so you have locations. I'm going to open them up, check them all out. Be sure to flip cards away from you in a quick manner so that you are the last player to see your card. Huh. Make sure not to flip your card until all players are paying attention. After a card is flipped, if there are two matching gremlins on top of the two different locations, the first player to slap the matching gremlins, take all cards at a location. Hmm. There are two matching gremlins on top of two different locations. The first player, first two players, okay, let's slap them. All right, first two players. If the gremlins are flipped, it matches the top gremlin at the same location. The first player to slap the matching gremlin takes all the cards at that location. So if we stack, first player to slap a location adds all the cards at that location to the bottom of their deck. You can only slap one location at a time. Using one hand only, slapping cards can be fast, so be careful not to hit other players by accident. So you have multiple cards, you have some special cards. Winning the game. After the Sunrise card has been flipped and slapped for the second time, the game is over. Each player counts the number of cards in their Gremlin deck. If you have more cards than your opponents, you win the game. So and a tie, the most multiply cards in the deck. Okay. So this is a slapjack variant, which is fine. I didn't expect it to be too much. Man. So paste it all clean, but we'll see how it looks. Hopefully it looks pretty good. So I've got some locations here. Got Barry's Tavern. They're really thin, but they look pretty good. Refreshments, focus, okay. Candy store and the house. I guess you would set up like four players, like so. So I'm here for now. The Gremlin decks. Or Gremlin deck. All 
shot. Let's see who we got here. Got a, <laughs> a caroler. Got a popcorn fan there. I don't remember him. I like the art though. Looks looks pretty good. <laughs> Got the pervert gremlin. Got the fountain, so this must be a multiplier. You got Gizmo, so we'll find out what these cards do. This looks like it might be a draw card or something, so we'll see about that one. Stripe. I always kind of like Stripe. That was pretty cool. Okay, so a lot of repeats because you know you're gonna have matches. That makes sense. All right, special type of cards. We're back here, I think. No. All right, so the multiplier is the water, of course, the fountain. Gizmo card. Oh, sunrise card. So I didn't see. Not this guy. This is just a poker playing gremlin. Put him under like an extra draw or something weird. Sunrise card. When you flip the sunrise card, the first player to slap that location takes all at that location, including the sunrise card. Gizmo card. If you flip a gizmo card, the first player to slap any other location cards take all the cards at those locations. Okay, so you flip the gizmo card, but before you would see who has the most cards, I guess. Flip gizmo, slap another location that has all the cards on it. And multiplier card. If you flip the multiplier, you must immediately flip three cards from the top of your gremlin deck onto your location. By flipping, if any cards can be slapped before all three cards are flipped, stop flipping. If you flip another multiplier card, you must stop the current multiplier card and flip the new three cards. So I guess you could do a total of five. So if you're a Grimmins fan, it might be okay. I'm not a fan of speed or slapjack kind of games at all, really. So this probably might never be played. <laughs> no. I don't remember seeing in the description that it was like a slapjack kind of thing. I guess I should, only the back was available. If I would have saw slap, I probably probably would have skipped it, maybe. But the card stock is pretty good. The art's nice, and it's a pretty good box. And I think it's pretty cheap. I'm sure, I didn't pay over ten dollars for this. I will guarantee you that. There we have the Gremlins Holiday Havoc card game. So it would cause a lot of havoc being Slapjack.